We are in a residential neighborhood and I'm going to show you how to hunt for scorpions. We are in a typical Arizona neighborhood and I'm going to show you how to go out in your yard and do correct scorpion hunting. Here are the tools of the trade. First off, most important, the black light. The black light is the one that gives out blue. So when you go outside, we'll, we'll see how that does. Next tools. If it's nice and handy, a little hammer will smash it. If it's in a little crack, crack, we get the scorpion killer, some sort of scorpion killer. It's got a nice little nozzle. Shake that up, just blast it right in there. All right, let's go out. Oh, before we go outside, for the black light to work, it's gotta be dark. So we're gonna turn off the, the lights inside the house. So outside it's nice and dark for us. Let's go. Here's a sample of the black light. You know, we find something, here's a little, that's how the black light works. So let's go hunting. Go along the perimeter of the fence, up and down each of the holes here. All right, go, go to your side over there. See him back there? They, you can see those things light up, barely? There you go, those are in the crack. Those are deep in there. I need to go get the spray for those. Let's keep looking. Yeah, you literally, you can't even see the black light. Yeah, that light's up there. If I take it out, it's on. It's over by my little equipment. So, out nice and open. I'll just grab my little hammer here. Dead. Just kind of walk around all the perimeter of your your walls, your home, down in the cracks, and you'll come across them. Here's one on the wall of the fence. You're good, you're good. Wait, get the light on there, get the light on there so we can see. Dead. Try doing that with my left hand. Let me do it a little bit better with my right hand here. Uh, right along the fence line there. Got him. Last night, we kind of discovered you can't really see how well we're going along the walls in the dark. So let me just show you an, an example in the light, how I go along the walls and the cracks. So first off, if you remember, we did get one smush last night. So here's a dead one. Ugh. So you can see about an inch body, a little bit more than an inch on the uh, tail and a little stinger at the end. So there's a, there's a dead one for you. But uh, so basically what I do, you know, if this were my flashlight, I just start, uh, you know, I'll aim down with my black light just along all the corners. They like to hide in the corners. I'll go around the pool equipment here, uh, point down along the, the walls of the fence, and up and down all these little spots. So these are great places. They like to kind of hide in the, in the crevice here. Then I'll go along the, the base of the wall. So just catching all these, all these little corner spots. Again, uh, you know, you might not see them totally, totally hanging in here, but you might just barely see two little pinchers coming out of the wall and that's that's when you spray them if the whole body's out then you can uh, get them with the hammer again with the house 
I'll just point down here along the, the base of the, the house with a, with a light and with the black light you just go along and they'll illuminate if you, you saw how they illuminated when we we're going they'll illuminate and uh, with that you can get them so just walk along slowly usually takes me to walk the perimeter of the, ha of the house and the interior of the of the wall probably 15 20 minutes if I do that once a week I'm sh I'll typically find three or four maybe more springtime you know in a bad spring I found 20 or 30 in a night but uh, just kill them mush them and keep the keep the yard safe but it's it's pretty rare that you find them inside the house or uh, during the day so they're nighttime you know during the day they're hidden in the rocks and the crevices they come out at night and that's when they go hunting for their food thanks for watching subscribe at the top and click my next video at the bottom where I feed this dead scorpion to the chickens